Summary of the Night Thoreau, Spent in Jail, by Jerome Lawrence and Robert E. Lee. The events of the play take place throughout the course of one night that Henry spends locked up. Henry talks to his simple but honest cellmate Bailey while he waits for his hearing. There are many flashbacks in the play that show the events that led to Henry's arrest. In the first flashback of the play, Henry is seen listening to one of Waldo's lectures at Harvard. The next flashback shows Henry's short time as a teacher, which ends when he has to spank his students for asking too many questions. Henry quits his job rather than have to do that punishment again. We learn that Henry and his brother John tried to open an alternative school where students would meet in a field to talk about life and nature instead of a classroom. However, Henry and John lost all of their students because their parents didn't like the transcendentalist lessons they taught. People meet Ellen Sewell in one of these classes, and both Henry and John think she's beautiful. He tries to explain transcendentalism to her, but she doesn't get it. John later asks Ellen to marry him, but she says no. To this end, Henry and John enjoy being brothers. John died from a small cut from a rusty blade, and this scene moves into the scene of his funeral. Henry is horrified by how pointless the death is. After this terrible event, Henry starts working for Waldo on his land and makes his house by Walden, a quiet pond on Waldo's property. He takes care of Waldo's young son Edward and becomes close with Lydian, Waldo's wife. The first act ends with a scene that explains why Henry is in jail. He won't pay his taxes because he doesn't want to support a government that is using its power to fight what he sees as the unfair Mexican war. When Waldo learns that Henry is in jail, he goes to the jailhouse and asks Henry why he is there. That's when Henry asks Waldo why he's not in jail. In a different flashback, Williams, a freed slave, stops by Henry's house at Walden Pond one day. Williams is hoping to get to Canada so that he can be free. The two guys talk about what freedom means and how bad it is that rules hurt black people. After this scene, Henry and Waldo are having a very angry fight. Williams was killed while trying to escape to Canada, and Henry hopes Waldo would use his power to speak out against slavery and the unfair war in Mexico. Waldo and Henry each criticize the other's view of action, and both leave the talk hurt. But Waldo says he will speak out against racism and the fight in the town square. But Waldo doesn't show up in the town square, and Henry starts to feel down. The action in the play feels like a dream, and Henry can't be heard even though he really wants to. The actors in the play dress up as soldiers and generals. Waldo is elected president of the US. There are guns everywhere, and everyone is told to shoot. When Henry sees that his brother John has been shot, he begs God not to kill John again. Henry wakes up to find that his aunt has paid his taxes. This is Sam, the police officer. Even though Henry doesn't want to go, he agrees as long as Bailey gets a quick try. Henry says in his final speech that he can't go back to Walden because he has to be somewhere else. About the authors. Lee and Lawrence both grew up in Ohio and started writing together when they were young. Their works, most of which had political or social messages, added up to almost 40 in total. They began writing for radio and quickly became one of the most productive radio teams of the decade. After that, they moved on to live theater and kept having success there. The Night Thoreau Spent in Jail is their most famous play. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.